Hey guys, it's Cameron and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing our May favorites. So some of these are things that like I used to use but I stopped using them and then now I went back to them and they've like worked for me, especially with my hair and stuff because you know how things like your hair will start to change and it won't like certain products anymore and then all of a sudden like it changes again and it likes those products so we're gonna get started. Um, the first thing I'm gonna start on is hair because that's the stuff that I feel like I have the most of. We're gonna get started in that section. So for prom, I ended up straightening my hair. If you guys didn't see that video, I will link it down in the description bar below. I went to go to a Dominican salon to have my hair straightened and if you guys have ever gotten your hair straightened by a Dominican lady, you know that they straighten the crap out of your hair. Like, they get it pinned straight. We had some pretty bad heat damage, like it was pretty bad. Um, I still have some of it now, as you can see there's like little straight pieces and stuff around here. So um, my hair is not bouncing back as fast as it normally does with like chemical damage and things. So I'm having to slowly nurse it back to health. Well, I'm bringing back some of my old products that I normally wouldn't have used before just because it was like too heavy on my hair but now my hair is just like please any kind of moisture possible. So the first thing that I have to talk about that has been like a complete lifesaver for me um, that I was like wow this, this really helped. I was using a lot of different products to try and help revert the heat damage but nothing was really working that well. And I had used this L'Oreal L5 Total Repair 5 Damage Erasing Balm. It's Almond Plus Protein Plus Ceram Ceramide? Ceramide? I think I'm saying that correctly. But it's this product right here. I had discovered it like a while, a while ago at my aunt's house. I had used hers. And my hair really liked it, but I never went to go pick it up for some reason. So there was just like a couple weeks ago I happened to be at Walmart and I was like, mm, let me just get it so this I highly highly suggest if you have any kind of heat damage or like damage overall this helps big time the second thing that I've been using is this um, pro vitamin leave-in conditioner from Aflogy I use this big time um, after my hair was damaged from the L'Oreal Colorista Blue, which if you haven't seen that video as well, I will link it down in the description bar. This was a lifesaver in terms of fixing my hair with that. It also has like a really good slip to it. This helps a lot. I noticed a big difference when I use this product. And the other thing that I have picked up, which was my first time trying anything from this company. This is the Main Choice Green Tea and Carrot Deep Strengthening and Restorative Mass Treatment. Um, it's infused with biotin. It's for natural growth and retention. It's this little thing right here. Um, I haven't really used it as a hair mask. I've kind of been using it as like a leave-in conditioner just because the slip on it is really, really great and it's lightweight. And you know how normally face masks would be like, leave it in for two or three minutes and then you wash out? This one suggests to leave it in for 15 minutes. I just, I like this product more as a leave-in conditioner than I do as an overall like mask conditioner just because it's just to me as a mask it doesn't do that much in my opinion so my last hair product that I have to talk about is the Marc Anthony True Professional Strictly Curls Curl Envy Curl Cream which is supposed to control and define coarse frizzy hair while adding moisture for soft natural frizz free curls with shine it has avocado oil and shea butter I used to use this product religiously when I found it it was like my holy grail product I honestly feel like um, if your hair is in good enough condition you can just use this one product it's kind of like it's kind of like a gel consistency along with a curling cream consistency it has enough hold to it so that it's perfect for like a one product use um, try not to get it confused in my opinion to the curl um, the curl lotion I hate the curl lotion I it says that there's no alcohol in it but like it feels like alcohol is in the product and it just dries out my hair I've heard a lot of people a lot of people that I've recommended this product to them and they accidentally pick up the lotion they're like what this product is terrible and I'm like did you check to see if it was the cream or the lotion and they look and they see it's the lotion and they're like yeah that makes sense my opinion the curl cream is much better I don't know if there's some people that use the lotion and they like it maybe it works for you but for me and the people that I know that have tried it they did not like it whatsoever now moving on to makeup I have a few products for that which are some oldies and a few new ones. The first 
one is an oldie, which I'm coming back with this one, um, which is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. But I've started using it as a foundation now, just for summer, because it's so much, like, it's lightweight. I actually have it on right now. And you guys know that I have, like, really, really bad dark marks and stuff, and it covers pretty well. I decided to use it as a foundation randomly one day, and I was like, oh my god, this is, this is great. I'm going to keep using this. So, yeah. Um, the second oldie that I'm picking up is the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. I picked this up for prom and um, I've been using it for like mattifying and stuff. To me, I don't feel like it makes my makeup last that much longer than any other setting spray that I have, if I'm gonna be completely honest. But I will say that I do like the finish that it gives more than my other foundations, my other setting sprays. Because my other setting sprays, um, I know this is supposed to like leave you matte, is this supposed to leave you matte? I think so. I think this is supposed to leave you matte. But it kind of leaves me kind of dewy, which I like. That it's like, it's a controlled dewy. It's not too much. Because the other ones, it's like, I feel like I'm, I am have to reset my face. So I like this better. I do like the finish that it gives off. So I've been using this instead. And the other makeup product that I have is the Rihanna Stunna. 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 Lip paint from Fenty Beauty. I've always wanted to try red lipstick. I've always been like, oh my god. Like, I've been a red lipstick girl ever since, like, my Taylor like Taylor Swift phase. I, you know, it was always the whole stigma around black girls wearing red lipstick or, like, bright lipstick in general. Like, it just wasn't for us. This one has been, like, the perfect thing for me because everyone's always like, oh my god, I love... When I have this on, they're like, I love that color on you. So... I, I'm happy to have like found a red lipstick that actually works for me now and they don't look like a clown. Plus, when I tell y'all, this stuff be making me look like I got Kylie Jenner lips. This product, 10 up for me. The other product that I have is the NYX Professional Mineral Matte Finishing Powder. Um, I picked this up at Walmart a couple days ago and I like that they have like the different um, powder shades because a lot for a while we were only like with translucent and now they kind of have ones for different shades and stuff so I picked up the medium to dark it is the MFP02 this has been great because I use this around like my my contour areas and stuff not where I concealed but like the other areas and it has been great for that so I'm really happy with that and the last makeup product that I have is from Ofra Cosmetics the blush chameleon um, I got this in one of my beauty kits like my ipsy bag and I use it almost every day and it still has not run out so it's been perfect for that it's like this little sample I don't know if I can show you guys it's like the perfect blush shade to me it's so pretty what I have on right now and I feel like it's subtle enough because I used to never wear blush I actually hated wearing blush but I, now it's to the point where it's like I feel weird not having blush on because I feel like I don't look alive I think I think the color is called blush chameleon I, don't, I think that's what the color is called, yeah. Because it says it on the back. It says blush chameleon. Moving on to skincare. I have three products from skincare. Um, the first one is the coffee scrub from Organic Feelings. They're based in Los Angeles. Um, coffee scrub in general has been a big thing that I've been using now just because I feel like it kind of tints your skin a little. I don't know, maybe that's just me maybe because like I have dark skin. So I, I feel like it like evens out my skin tone and it moisturizes amazingly like it's a moisturizer and an exfoliator and once so I use this after like shaving and stuff or for like bikini lines after I get waxed um, it helps big time with preventing ingrowns and everything they say to use the scrub one to two times a week but I use it every day and the second product that I have is my Curology which I just I started about three months ago I'd say and when I tell you guys you like I didn't even notice how much of a difference it made so I looked at my progress photos, which I am going to make a video very soon um, about it. I just wanted to get like wait the full three months to give you guys a full update and my opinion on it. I tell you guys, it was like, oh my god. Like, it was drastic. The difference that it's made. If you don't know what Curology is, it's a basically a customized bottle of acne medication. You get your own um, dermatologist and you send them the things that you want to fix and like pictures and stuff and then they send you out a bottle of your own customized acne medication. Mine has, a, which my original one was different. I just spoke to my um, provider and we ended up changing it because I was getting like little 
weird bumps out of nowhere so she switched my um, my prescription so now I have azelaic acid clindamycin and neosidamide you know <laughs> like any of us understood that but yeah but this has helped me big 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 time I like I can't wait to show you guys when I make the video like how much of a difference it made it's crazy and my face mask for this month which I have completely used it I also got this in my ipsy bag the coffee scrub I got in my ipsy bag as well um, this is the Feel Restored Self-Warming Clay Mask. It's pore opening and deeply cleansing. It comes in this little thingy that I got. But um, it's so like exciting and like fun when you like put the clay stuff on your face and it starts warming up. I love that. But it actually made a difference to my skin. I feel like there's so many times I put face mask on and it doesn't even do anything to my skin. And I'm just like, oh my god, this face mask is amazing. But in reality, it didn't do anything. It just looks fun. I feel like I look cuter in face masks. Am I the only person who feels like that? Like I put a face mask on and I'm like, damn girl, you look cute. This one actually does something and it looks cute and it feels nice. So shows and like music right now. I'm kind of like torn between what song is like my favorite this month. But I think it would have to be, I'm going to have to say it would have to be Solo, which was featuring Demi Lovato by Clean Bandit. I feel like that's going to be like the summer track. Like, it's just perfect. My favorite show for this month, besides Grey's Anatomy, because you're like, <laughs> but I found like a replica of Grey's Anatomy, which I didn't even know was possible. But the show is so so. I feel like it's like Grey's Anatomy with like out all the relationship drama to it. It's more like more plot based, but it's called The Resident. I think it airs on Fox. It's so 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 good i just finished watching the first season like i've been watched it in like three days that's been this month's like favorites in terms of the shows the last thing for this may favorites is just kind of like the stuff that i'm wearing for this month i am graduating in four days so i will be doing a vlog and like a get ready with me and everything so you guys won't be missing out on that i'm officially on summer basically like we got off of school a week ago so for my summer wardrobe the things that i have just been like loving recently are like colored glasses and stuff for this month these actually are not my glasses these are my friends who left them at my house but i'm really into like glasses now i think they're so cute like colored glasses and stuff but as of right now for this month like i've been really into like tube tops and stuff and just kind of like cute little bandos simple colors and like really loose t-shirts like stripes i love stripes right now and then of course like high-waisted shorts, kind of like destroyed look to it. I love pants like this. Um, all three of the things that I'm showing you I thrifted. So check out your local Goodwill because there are many, 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 many nice things there. The three things that I just showed you is, that's like Forever 21. Like literally, all three of those things are from Forever 21. And I got them at like three, four bucks. So. Goodwill is a really good option. That's another one of my main, that's my all year favorite to be honest, but yeah, that's another one of my favorites. That's it for my May favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to thumbs up and subscribe. I am uploading now. After this video, every Sunday you guys can expect a video. Cross my heart. Make sure to follow all of my social media. It will be listed down in the description box below, as well as all the videos that I mentioned throughout this video. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. And to subscribe if you have not subscribed already. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.